uh, you really can't beat it because the air suspension allows you to stay at a standard ride height no matter how much weight you have in the back. I can load up with hundreds and hundreds of pounds of recovery gear, camping gear, you know, food, fridge, tools, all the stuff I normally bring when I go on an overlanding adventure. When you first put all the gear in, you'll see the suspension sag because of the weight. And then when you turn the vehicle on, it will auto level back to normal ride height. Unlike with springs where I would sag, be closer to the bump stops, I would hit them a lot more during fast travel situations. Of course, the alternative for springs is to throw in heavy springs, HD springs. But then if you take all the weight out, you get the opposite effect and you get a rougher ride, not as smooth. Whereas the air suspension, you take all the stuff out. Well, guess what? Now your suspension's high again, but it will just auto level back to normal. And you basically have a standard rate spring, if you will, no matter how much weight you have in the back. For fast trails, you know, even just driving on the highway and stuff like that with extra weight or towing, 